Welcome to KLRU and our Studio 6A. We're here for our local broadcast of American Graduate Day. We'll be here all day long with panelists representing different stories about the state of education here in Texas. Our first panel is going to continue the focus on early education. We have Sue Carpenter, the Vice President of United Way Success by Six, Maya Hayes, the Early Childhood Coordinator for Maynard ISD, and James Butler, AISD's 2014 Teacher of the Year and a teacher of pre-kindergarten at Gallette Elementary. So let's start with you, Sue. Uh, we are talking about school readiness for kindergarten, how critical that is. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for kids to be ready at kindergarten as we talk about graduation? Well, we know that children who start behind tend to stay behind. So all the efforts that we can um, bring from our community to help children start, start right where they should be will help them all along the way. James, how does that look in a pre-kindergarten classroom? What are you doing to generate this notion of readiness and to make sure that your kids leave ready for kindergarten? Well, uh, kindergarten expectations have, have grown over the, the last several years. So from an academic standpoint, we're really teaching letters and writing and um, you know, describing observations and counting. Um, to get them ready for the academic part of kindergarten, but most importantly, what we're doing is really building the social and emotional development, um, really getting them comfortable with, with themselves and uh, how they feel and how to productively and peacefully express how they feel, how to interact with, with their peers um, in, in play, a lot of play, a lot of play-based learning. It's very student-centered learning so that they are developing at their, at their own rate at a, how does that level. sense of play connect to school readiness? What's the connection there? Play, play is learning. Play is learning. And um, it's really, we, in AISD, we're really fortunate to have a great curriculum that really focuses on play and the students learning along, along the ways, and whether it's building, you know, building with blocks or writing or pretend and learn, you know, per, you know acting out situations and really uh, interacting with one another and building that, you know, that social and emotional you know, th through interactions with each other, it's more focused on their interactions with each other than necessarily our inter their interactions with us, the teachers. So Maya, give us a district perspective. You're in the realm of early childhood, but I'm sure you hear from people all the way from the K through 12 perspective about what they need for your kids in order for them to, to as Sue said, start the trajectory and carry it on through. W w tell me about your work in, in Mater and, and how it's having an impact. Well, piggybacking on what James said, we definitely look at the social emotional development of our children. Um, and because of that, we actually start at three. Um, Maynard has a half day program. We offer the half day program for our three year olds and our four year olds. Uh, they come in either the morning or the afternoon. And we also offer a wraparound program to allow them to stay there the entire day so that they could have more exposure to, um, to language, to literacy, and to social emotional development. How's the three year old pr program working so far? This is still relatively new. It's been around for a few years now, mm -hmm. and it it does really well, actually. We have quite a few kids on each campus that are there, actually, the entire day. Mm -hmm. We also have a collaboration with a, a local Head Start entity that allows um, one three-year-old classroom to be there the entire day with a certified teacher. Wow. Sue, let's even kick it back further. Uh, what's your recommendation for families from cradle to the point where sure. they hit that kindergarten classroom? What's well, children are born learning, and it's so important in those early, those first three years of life to make sure that children have lots of early learning experiences that will set the stage for their future learning. When we talk and sing and read and play with children, we're stimulating neural development, creating strong pathways, and literally building the architecture of the brain. Um, we know that children who are um, who have a lot of language exposure in those early years become better readers. They're able to decode later when they're trying to figure out how to learn how to read. So um, all those things that we do naturally with young children, playing, responding to them, that sets the stage for everything that happens later. Hmm. James, is your class a noisy class? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely, definitely can get very noisy. Talk about get. the noise. <laughs> Well, the noise, I mean, is is a great it's a great noise as long you know obviously as long as the kids are interacting in a in a positive and a peaceful way with one another, mm -hmm. which but that is one of the things that we really you know, that we really focus on is 
is you know the kids interactions like I said earlier the kids interactions with each other and that if that is bringing up the the noise level in the in the class if they're using vocabulary you know if that we're studying in class and if they're just interacting with each other and having conversations and solving conflict um, you know then that's that that is that is one of the main main goals of pre-k to really get the kids ready for kindergarten Maya one piece of advice, if, you, if you're a parent, you're going to a classroom, tell us one thing they should look for as they look for a successful school classroom. Vocabulary. All right. A literacy-rich environment. Great. Mm -hmm. We'll be back with our panel in the next half hour. Please stay tuned. But for now, back to New York. <laughs>